welcome back to Rising Yoga Online. Today we're going to do a quick Pilates workout. So as always, all you need is a mat or some space, some comfy clothes and some water nearby in case you need that. So to start, oh, remembering that everything I say is optional, listen to your own body and choose what's right for you. Okay, we're going to start off by coming to one end of your mat. Lots of room in front of you. We're going to do some plank workouts and we're going to do some increasing plank holds. So, standing up nice and tall. Deep breath in, arms come up. As you exhale, we're going to fold forwards, touch your toes. You can bend your knees. Inhale, we're going to walk your hands out to a plank. Trying to get hips in line with shoulders, wrists underneath the shoulders as well. And hold for one breath. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And walking hands back. Hands come up, standing up, and hands come down. Nice, let's go again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, walking up. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, tummy in. Inhale. Exhale, walk your hands back. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands down. Nice, three breaths this time. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, walking up. Exhale, here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. One more breath, exhale. Inhale, exhale, walk your hands back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, hands down. One more time, four breaths. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walk up. And holding here, exhale. Inhale. Two. Three. One more, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, walk your hands back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, hands come down. Beautiful. Give yourself a little shimmy shake. Hopefully, you're starting to warm up. We're going to warm up your legs a little bit as well. So, stepping forwards with your right leg, coming to a nice deep lunge. So, hands either side of your foot. We're going to sink the hips down towards the mat. And then, we're going to straighten the front leg just till you feel the stretch through the back of your hamstring. And then, you rock forwards and back, forwards and back. Starting slow and gradually getting a little bit faster as you feel the muscles start to release and warm up. For three, two, one, and switch sides. Left foot forward, right foot back. Hands down, sink the hips nice and low, and then we straighten and bend. Straight and bend. And gradually getting faster as you feel comfortable. Four. Three, two, one, and lower the back knee down. Sit back. We're going to sit on your heels. And then bring your forehead down to the mat, arms out in front. Coming to a child's pose. Take a little rest. Alrighty, from here we're going to come down onto your back, stand down however you like. Sitting back. We're going to start with some pelvic curls. So bring your feet down to the floor, take an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to lightly tuck your tail under so you feel lower back gently pressing down on the mat. Inhale, we let it go. Exhale, curling under. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl. Inhale, let it go. 
Once more, exhale, curly under, close that little gap underneath your lower back, squeeze belly button in, holding here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep squeezing, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Beautiful. Okay, so throughout all the exercises, lying down on your back, you try and maintain that feeling, lower back pressing down, belly button squeezing in. See how you go. We're going to start off with some eagle crunches. It's a little bit funky, so see how you go. We're going to pick up your right leg, cross it over the top of your left leg. You can stay like this, or if you can, sing if you can bring that ankle around the back of your left calf. So you're very tied up in a knot. Then we're going to do the same with your arms. So goalpost arms out in front. We're going to bring left elbow over the top of the right and then either back to the hands together or seeing if you can bring palms together. If none of that is working, just bring your hands to your shoulders. That works too. Okay, from here. Take an inhale, lower back pressing down, belly button squeezing in. As you exhale, we're going to lift head, neck, shoulders up, elbows and knees come to touch. Inhale, we lower your head down, lower your feet just a little, so they're not going to touch all the way down, but we're sending them out. Exhale, curling up. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Nice work. Keep lower back down. Exhale. Inhale. For five. Four. Sigh out the map each time you lift. Three, two, and one more. And relax. Unravel. Take a little rest. Hug your knees in towards your chest and rock from side to side. Alrighty, let's switch sides. So left knee is coming over the top of right. Can leave it there or see if you can get the ankle behind the calf. And then same with your arms. This time right elbow is coming over the top of left. Either back to the hands together or see if you can get palms together or hands on your shoulders. Just remember which arm was on top if you can. Alright, here we go. Inhale, lower back pressing down, belly button squeezing in. And exhale, lifting up, elbows and knees together. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale, keep lower back down. Exhale, side. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Inhale. Keep that lower back down. Doing really well. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, one more, and relax. Release everything. Hug your knees in, take a little rock. Well done. Alrighty, from here, take an inhale, I want to feel your lower back down on the mat, belly button squeezing in. As you exhale, we're going to lift head, neck, shoulders up, arms come down by your sides, and we're going to come to frog legs. So, your heels are touching, your knees and toes are apart from each other, looking towards your feet. So, take a big inhale. Exhale, we're going to extend your legs. The lower they are towards the mat, the harder it will be. The higher they are, the easier it will be. Okay, so inhaling. Exhale, we extend. Inhale, draw the knees back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Doing really well. Keep lower back pressing down. See if you can get your legs out straight. Even if they're going straight up, that's fine. Again, harder. Send them lower. You can do this with head down on the mat if you like. Otherwise, try to reach hands towards the other side of the room. Going for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. 
if you need a bit of support for your neck, you can bring one or both hands back. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to do ten fast, going ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax it out. Oh my goodness. Take a little rock, relax. Alrighty, when you're ready, we're going to take a little rock and roll to come up to sitting. Coming to the front of your mat, make sure you have lots of room behind you for us to roll. Okay, so shuffling forwards. We're going to bring feet down in front of you, hands underneath the knees, and we're going to lift your heels up off the mat. So toes are down, heels are up, and then sitting up as tall as you can. Alright, practicing your C-curve spine to start. So as you inhale, we sink, tuck, and bring that chin all the way in towards your chest. So we're looking for that nice C shape through your back. As you exhale, we're sitting up as tall as you can, beautiful straight spine. Exhale, sink, curl, tuck, sorry, inhale, and exhale, coming up. Once more, inhale, curling down, and exhale, sitting up tall. Beautiful. So as we're coming to our rolls now, we're looking for that nice C shape in each roll. So it will make it easier, I promise. <laughs> so we're going to sit up as tall as you can. Start to lift your toes up off the mat. As you inhale, we sink, tuck, and roll. Exhale as you come back up. See if you can find that nice straight spine and keep your toes up off the mat. So inhale, sink, tuck, roll. Exhale, coming up. So top tips, try and think about that C curve. If you let your head come out at the bottom, then you'll get stuck. So you want to keep it curled in, forehead towards your knees at all times. The other thing is you want to curve all the way down to your lower back. So if you are curling your upper back, but your lower back is flat, you're going to smack down onto the mat and get stuck. So you really need to sink back, curl in to make that ball shape. All right, you can try with hands on ankles or no hands if you like. Little noises are okay. <laughs> of your back hitting the mat, I mean. Beautiful. Two more. And last ones. And relax. Oh, okay, from here, we're going to come down onto your side. So starting, I'm going to lie down on my right side. So the left leg is going to be doing the work to start off with. So resting your ear down on your bicep, look down at your feet, flex them and bring them just slightly in front of your body so you can see them. Top hands coming down in front of your waist and then we're trying to lift your waist up off the mat looking for that little bit of space underneath you and most importantly the nice straight spine so rather than that little dip that you get when you sink down we want to lift up look for that straightness hips knees and ankles on top of each other extra good if you have lines on your yoga pants if they're lined up in the right spot in your legs then you can try and match them on top of each other and then squeezing belly button in thinking of lifting and engaging the whole time all right take a big inhale exhale we lift the top leg up just to hip height inhale point your toe and send the leg back behind you exhale flex the foot send it in front of your body inhale point send it back exhale flex send it forwards inhale point back exhale flex forwards Nice, keep going like this, moving with your breath, trying to keep that top hip as still as possible, using your abs, using your core to keep your waist up and your upper body still. So if you notice that your hip is rocking backwards and forwards as you do this, then you're not using your core. So really engage it, make the movement of your leg a little bit smaller so you can focus on finding that control within your body before you... Have a go at making it bigger. Nice, let's go for four. 
three, two, one more, and lower down, little mini rest, bend your knees for a moment, give yourself a little pat or rub. Okay, stretching legs out again. Lift your waist up, hips, knees and ankles, belly button in. We're gonna point your top toe, and as you inhale, we're gonna to start to draw that big toe up the inside of your calf, just to mid calf, so not all the way up, because your waist will drop down. So just mid calf, and then as you exhale, we're gonna extend and lower. So as you inhale, drawing the big toe up, exhale, extend and lower. So your knee is starting to face up towards the ceiling, not so far that your hip rocks back, but just a little bit turned out from the hip. Nice, so if it helps, you can bring the hand to the hip. You can make this movement big or small, whatever works for you. Focus on keeping the waist up, hips still, whichever way you're doing it. Going for five, four, three, two, one more, and relax. Bend your knees, little pat or rub. Nice work. Okay, we got one more to go, and then we'll switch sides. Stretching legs out again. Waist lifting up, hips, knees, and ankles on top of each other, belly button in. Here we go, take a big inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna lift both legs up. Inhale, we lower them down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, glue those ankles together. Exhale. Inhale, keep your waist up. Exhale. Inhale. Okay, a little bit harder if you like. Exhale, lift both legs. Inhale, lower them so they're not quite touching your arm, but just hovering above it. And then exhale, lift back up again. Inhale, hover. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. For five. Four. Three. Waist up, two. One more, and relax. Nice work, bend your knees, little pat or rub. Well done. All right, let's switch sides. Sending your heads across, or moving the camera and rolling over. Not camera, video. <laughs> That's what I am to you. Okay, <laughs> stretch your legs out, look down at your feet, flex them, bring them in front of your body, wipe hand out in front of your waist, and lifting waist up. Hips, knees and ankles on top of each other. Stack those lines on top of your pants, if you have any. And squeezing belly button in. All right, here we go. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift the top leg up to hip height. Inhale, point the toe, send it back behind you. Exhale, flex the foot, send it forwards. Inhale, point back. Exhale, flex forwards. Inhale. Exhale. So it doesn't have to be a big movement. Just focusing on that control. You want to be able to imagine if there was a wall at your hips and you could only see the upper half of your body. We would have no idea what was going on on the other side of that wall because it's completely still. You've got your poker face on, but in your entire upper body. <laughs> Nice. Keep that leg at hip height, don't let it dip down. And keep thinking about waist lifting up off the mat. Alrighty, for five. Four. Three. Two. One more. And relax, nice work. Mini rest, bend your knees for a second. All right, stretch them out again. Lifting waist up, hips, knees and ankles, belly button in. We're gonna point your top foot 
As you inhale, we draw the big toe up to the inside of your calf to mid calf, and then exhale, we extend and lower. Keep the hips still. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, extend and lower. Nice. Doing so well. Keep going. Oh, this one hurts me a lot. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if this one hurts you as much as it hurts me. <laughs> Four to go. Oh, three. Two. Last one. And relax. Bend your knees, little pat or rub. Oh. I swear that one is the most painful. I like it, but it hurts. <laughs> All right, last one on your side. Stretch your legs out, stack those hips, knees and ankles, lift your waist, squeeze your belly button in. Here we go, big inhale. Exhale, lift both legs up, keep your waist down. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, keeping that waist up, keep belly button in, sigh out the mouth each time you lift, inhale through the nose each time you lower. Bit harder if you like, exhale we lift, inhale lower just a bit, not all the way, exhale lift. Keep the waist up. Glue those ankles together, I know it's hard. For five. Four, three, two, and one, and relax. Good work. Bend your knees, little pat or rub. Whew. All right, we're nearly there. One or two more things to go. I'm going to keep working on those glute meads, the bit that's probably hurting right now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come to all fours. Setting up so you've got wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, looking in between your thumbs. And we're going to try and stay looking in between your thumbs the whole time as much as you can. Alright, from here we want to tuck the tail under so you have a nice flat tabletop back. Try not to let your booty poke up and your tummy sink down throughout this. Keep the tail tucked under, core engaged. Alrighty, we're going to squeeze back belly button in, send your right leg out long, and we lift it up. Beautiful, from here little pulses upwards. Now watch already that your tummy isn't dipping, keep it squeezing in. So no higher than your hip with that leg. So if you can get right hip to be the same height as left hip, don't let it lift up higher. Little pulses, let's go. Press down into every knuckle in your hands, spreading fingers out wide. Keep pulsing. Nice, keep going. For four, three, two, one, bend your knee, keep going. Pointed toe. Keep breathing, keep pulsing. For four, three, two, flex the foot, keep going. Keep tummy in. Four, three, two. From here, we're going to turn the foot out. We're going to see if you can squeeze your knee up towards your shoulder, and then we bring it back. So exhale, squeezing it up. Inhale back. Oh, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Here we go. Four, three, two, one more. And relax. All right, sit back in your child's pose for a moment. Stretch that booty out. So you might find that it's not actually the leg that's doing the movement that's hurting. It might be that supporting leg. The butt muscle is like, ah, 
So that's okay, that's good. Don't be concerned that you're not doing it right because that is fine. All right, other side, are you ready? And then we'll have a stretch. Coming out to all fours. Set up really strong. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Squeeze that belly button in, nice flat back. Left leg out long, lift it up and pulsing up. Keep that tummy in. Keep the tail tucking under. Keep breathing, looking in between the thumbs. See if you can make sure left hip is the same height as right so you can see mine was starting to come up. It's tricky. For four, three, two, one. Bend the knee, pointed toe, pulsing up. For four, three, two, one. Flex the foot. Keep that tummy in. For four, three, two, one. Here we go. Turning the leg out, bring the knee up towards your shoulder and send it back. Bring it to the shoulder and back. Go for five. Four, three, two, and one more. And relax, sit back on your heels, take a little rest. Alrighty, when you're ready, coming up to sitting. And we're gonna go for a little stretch to finish up. So, legs out in front. We're gonna bring your right knee down directly in front of you. And then left knee is coming straight over the top. So we're trying to get knees down on top of each other. If that doesn't quite work, you can do it with your foot down and knee in towards your chest. Or if that still doesn't work, try just sitting cross-legged, okay? Coming to cow face is what this is called. So from here, we're gonna take, make sure both your sit bones are down on the mat. We inhale, sit up tall. This might be enough of a stretch for you already. That's fine. If not, starting to fold forwards. Holding here, breathing deep. And then coming back up, switching sides. So left knee coming down directly in front, right knee comes over the top. Making sure that both sit bones are down on the mat. Inhale, sit up tall, you can stay here or starting to walk the hands forwards. And then coming up. Alrighty, we're gonna leave it there today. Feel free to do any other stretches um, that you feel you need before you head off. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this. Feel free to leave any questions, comments, or criticism in the comments or message me. Um, and I will see you next time.